Racing fans are coming on the track for the featured eighth race. It's the 60th running of the Illinois Derby presented by First Bet. Scratch number six, Ravenstown, field of five. Rider change number three, Regal, make the jockey Declan Cannon, no overweights. Win play show, exacta trifecta, superfecta, start the final daily double of the day. Post time in five minutes. Here's the field as we present to you the Illinois Derby. Owned by Tilted Shamrock Stables of Dan McGreeby. Trained by Kenny McPeak. Ridden by Relu Gutierrez. Number one is Real Men Violin. Owned by Mellon Passion. Corporate of George Mellon. Trained by Mike Campbell. Ridden by Julio Felix to Patriot Spirit. Owned by Trade Winds Farm of Tom D'Ambra. Trained by Brendan Walsh. Note the jockey changed the Declan Cannon aboard number three, Regal. Owned by Contreras Stable Incorporated of Cipriano Contreras. Cipriano Contreras is the trainer of Manuel Esquivel, the rider aboard four, Woodcourt. Owned by Legree Limited Liability Corporation of Stuart Mather, Madison, and Thomas Couch, Steve Landry, and Albert Stahl Jr. Albert Stahl Jr. trained Jared Loveberry rides number five, Legree, six is scratched. A field of five to go one mile and one eighth in the 60th renewal of the Illinois Derby presented by First Bet. They'll be at the gate in about four minutes. Track fast for the Illinois Derby. Close to starting time for the Illinois Derby here at Hawthorne. Racing fans are at the starting gate for the 60th running of the Illinois Derby presented by First Bet. Horses are entering the starting gate. Last two to go in will be Regal and Legree. Regal is in waiting for Legree. He's in, they're all in the gate. They're up and running in the Illinois Derby. And on the inside, Patriot Spirit showing early speed, followed by Whitcourt on the outside. Then moving in between horses, Regal, Real Men Violin tucked in along the rail. Legree is fifth. They're covered by four lengths as they make their way into the first turn. It's Patriot Spirit with the lead. And around the turn they go, Patriot Spirit leads by a length and a half in front of a trio of opponents. On the inside, Real Men Violin. And then three wide up the back stretch. Goes Woodcourt in between those two. Regal in trailing Legree. Legree about six lengths behind the leader. They continue their journey on the backstretch, and your leader is Patriot Spirit. Five for longs to go in the Illinois Derby. Patriot Spirit by two. Real Men Violin right there, second. Woodcourt tracking from third. And then on the inside, Regal is fourth. Legree starts to move from the back of the pack. They've got a half mile to go, and up front. Patriot Spirit lead by three and a half lengths. Real Men Violin still chasing second. Woodcourt is third. The Gray Legree trying to advance along the rail. Regal drops out fifth. They come to the top of the stretch, all chasing Patriot Spirit. Real Men Violin on the outside second. And then it's a gap to find Woodcourt. Legree and Regal, they come off to turn, and Patriot Spirit has opened up a three and a half length advantage. Real Men Violin trying to re-rally second. And then it's Woodcourt followed by Legree inside the final furlong. Patriot Spirit has the lead by five. Real Men Violin chased every step of the way but to no avail. Patriot Spirit, Julio Felix to win the Illinois Derby. And Patriot Spirit won it by four and a half. Real Men Violin. Then it was Woodcourt, Legree, and Regal.
Three presented by First Bet. Two, Patriot Spirit finished first. One, Real Men Violin was second. Four, Woodcourt third. Five, Legree fourth. Three, Regal fifth. Two, one, four, five is posted. It's unofficial. 150.43 the running time. Returning the unofficial winner to Patriot Spirit. Patriot Spirit is owned by Mellon Patch and Corporate of George Mellon. Trained by Michael Campbell. Was written to victory by Julio Felix. Today's eighth race, the Illinois Derby, presented by First Bet, is now official running time, 150.43. More in a moment. I direct your attention to the winner's circle making the trophy presentation. On behalf of Hawthorne Race Corps General Manager John Walsh, congratulating the winning connections, Mellon Patch Incorporated's Patriot Spirit, George Mellon trainer Mike Campbell, jockey Julio Felix, more in a moment. General Manager John Walsh. about in the pre-race I was the most state seasoned horse in the bunch but a lot of the success had come at shorter distances you took the chance to stretch out today in the Illinois Derby horse responded very nicely were you expecting a performance like that I thought he'd win without a doubt I love the way I love the confidence they're training into the race preparation into the race everything just kind of lined up how you were expecting well, everybody thinks that young horses start out perfect and they don't they they make mistakes too and the two times that I started them over seven eighths of a mile the first time, the saddle slipped a little bit, and he got excited and ran off with the bridle and out of the bridle, and that was a that was a mistake. And then I had to regroup and get make sure he got a good lesson out of the next race, which we did. He won the inaugural. Then we came back, and I tried him a mile and an eighth in one of the preps of the Derby, which I thought he was a Derby prep horse without a doubt. And doggone it, anyway, he got he didn't break right, and it, it was just a cluster. And then I had to come back in the in the Hutchinson, and he ran. He should have won the race. He just didn't break quite right, and. Going a mile and eight, he breaks better. Yeah, but talk about just the importance of winning a race like this. You're a past president of the ITHA. It's been a family affair in Illinois for you. Both of your sons have ridden on the circuit. You've trained on the circuit for a long time. How about the importance of coming back here to Hawthorne and winning a race like the Illinois Derby? It's great, but I got to tell you, to train for the Mellon family and what they've done for me. I'm not going to make a comment. I, you know, I just love to be a part of it. I love to be a part of racing. I love the horsemen in Illinois. But I particularly thank all the owners and trainers that are part of this because without them, we got nothing. I agree with you, Mike. Thank you, Mike Campbell, winning trainer here with Patriots Fair. Julio Felix, five horse field in the race. Race complexion changed a little bit with the scratch of Ravenstown. Were you kind of expecting, hey, I'm going to be the one on the front end and controlling things? Yeah, no doubt. Um, but first, I want to thank Mike and his owners and for giving me the opportunity. Um, I was working in for Mike from day one, and we always thought he could go long. I mean, he was fast, and and then he, he carries it pretty good. And uh, yeah, I, I expected him to be on the lead, especially coming off the short races. You know, um, he's as fast as they come. And it looked like it today because you were kind of cruising along on the backside, then all of a sudden you hit the far turn, and it seemed like the one horse tried to make a little bit of a move on you, but then it just seemed like you opened it up another notch, and the horse responded really nicely. Yeah, he was loaded. Mike did a, a exceptional job with him. You know, getting him ready to go a mile and a eight. That's not that's not easy to do coming off a short race, you know.
The Exacta 21, $16.90. Trifecta 214, $16.15. That's $16.15. Superfecta 2145, $10.90. This daily double of one and two we'll have for you in a moment. $10.20. And the pick three here, $12.40. Forty-five cents. Place pick eight. You need all eight. Twenty-two dollars ninety cents. Twenty-two dollars ninety cents on the place pick eight. The nightcap ninth race has one play show. Exacta trifecta superfecta high five wagering. In the ninth race, number two, Jet Flight make the jockey Alexander Bendezu two pounds over the program weight. Alexander Bendezu.